G'day, welcome to the Guitar Garden. Today we're going to look at the classic theme to the classic show, Bluey. Let's check it out. Click the link below for the tabs. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's look at how this theme is played. The basic melody starts up here on the 11th fret of the high A string. We're going 11, 9, 7. Then to the 11th of the E string. Down to the 7th of the E string. Up to the 9th of the E string. So all together. Then to the seventh of the A. Back to the seventh of the A, back to the ninth of the E, sorry. And then finishing on the seventh of the E. So all together. And then repeat. But we skip that last note. We end on the seventh fret of the high A. Then the chord part. It's two chords. It's an E chord and an A chord. And the voicing I've chosen for E is by barring the fourth fret with my first finger. Now, if barring is a bit of a problem for you, that there are a couple of techniques you can use to help fix that. Firstly, bar it, and then make sure your thumb is sitting right behind on the back of the neck, like so. Strum each note at a time. Well, then what you might need to do is some minor adjustments if it's not fretting right. Now, be aware that your finger is not flat, and what you're trying to do is to flatten it against the fret, which is flat. And what can sometimes happen is the string can sit in some of the grooves of your fingers and not fret properly. So sometimes what you might need to do is either lift your finger up a bit, I'm exaggerating that, or move it down a little bit, just so that it's ringing out all of those strings nicely. Now, but to fret this E chord, we start off with our first finger fretting that fourth fret, and then our third finger, up here on the seventh. Down, down, up, down, up. That's the strumming pattern. Of course, we're not doing that for all of the E, just the E part is the. And then we change to A. The way I'm fretting A, again, holding that bar down, just adding my second finger to the fifth fret of the E string and to the, my third finger to the sixth fret of the low, or the high G, the lowest string, the highest in pitch. So. So all together, how that how that part runs. Okay, so as the chords flow together, it sounds like this. Then at the end, there's just a slight little lick just to finish it off, which is back up here again on the seventh fret of the E string, and we're hitting to the ninth. I do it as a hammer on. And then to the seventh of the high A string. So what I tend to do is make a little bar there on the seventh fret and you just do it once. Okay. So putting it all together The last
last time you play the first part of the melody slower. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you want the tabs, click the link below. Thanks. Bye.